you all are welcome to this video till now we have learned about graphical and algebraic methods of solving linear equations in two variables today we will learn how to solve equations reducible to a pair of linear equations in two variables in your class five boys and two girls do their homework together in four days whereas the same homework is done by two boys and one girl in nine days if one boy and one girl together have to do the homework on their own how many days will they take to finish it can you write a pair of linear equation in two variables to represent this situation let's make a pair of equations let's assume that a boy takes x days to finish this work on his own and a girl takes y days to finish the work on her own hence in one day a boy finishes 1 by x amount of work and a girl finishes 1 by y amount of work in one day therefore work done by five boys and two girls in a day and we can similarly write the work done by two boys and one girl in a day now we get equations 1 and 2 can you solve this pair of equations if we write both these equations in the following manner you can see that here we get a pair of equations but this is not in the form of linear equations because in this the equation ax plus by plus c is not equal to 0 which is why it becomes difficult to solve this equation so let us see how this pair of equations can be solved easily in order to solve this type of a pair of equations we can express them in the form of linear equations in two variables to do this if we replace 1 by x by m and 1 by y by n in equations 1 and 2 then we get equations 3 and 4 in this manner we have expressed equations 1 and 2 in the form of linear equations now we can solve equations 3 and 4 by either graphical or algebraic method Pause the video and try to solve this. When we solve the pair of equations, we get the value of m as one by thirty-six and n as one by eighteen. But Can you tell what do we need to do in order to find the values of x and y? Because we assumed one by x as m and one by y as n. So now, when we replace one by x as m and one by y as n, we get. x is equal to 36 and y is equal to 18 therefore to finish the homework one boy will take 36 days and one girl will take 18 days in this video we learned how to express a pair of equations which is not linear as a pair of linear equations and solve them we'll look at some examples based on this in the next video
you all are welcome to this video in the previous video we studied how to solve equations reducible to a pair of linear equations in two variables in today's video we will look at some examples based on this solve the following pair of equations if this pair of equations is written like this then you will observe that this is not the form of a pair of linear equations because ax plus by plus c is not equal to 0. Can you tell me what can we do to solve this pair of equations? That's correct. Just by some important replacements, we can change this pair of equations into a pair of linear equations. If we put 1 by x minus y is equal to m and 1 by x plus y is equal to n in equation 1 and 2. So, we will get equations 3 and 4, which represents a pair of linear equations in two variables. We can solve this pair of linear equations by any of the methods. You can pause the video and try to solve these equations. On solving the equations, we get m is equal to 4 and n is equal to minus 1. We replace m by 1 by x minus y and n by 1 by x plus y. On solving further, we get equations 5 and 6. On adding equations 5 and 6, we get x is equal to minus 3 by 8. Similarly, on subtracting equation 6 from equation 5, we get y is equal to minus 5 by 8. Therefore, the intended solution for the given pair of equation is x is equal to minus 3 by 8 and y is equal to minus 5 by 8. Putting the values from equations 1 and 2. We verify that x is equal to minus 3 by 8 and y is equal to minus 5 by 8 is the only solution to the given pair of linear equations. Let's look at some more examples. Ruchi covers some part of the distance from her school to home by walking and the rest by taking a bus. The total distance is 14 kilometers. If she walks for 2 kilometers and takes a bus for the rest, then she takes half an hour to reach. If she walks for 4 and takes a bus for the rest of the distance, then it takes her 9 minutes more than before. Find the speed of Ruchi and the bus. Let Ruchi's speed be x kilometer per hour and the speed of bus be y kilometer per hour. We know that Speed is equal to distance by time. Accordingly, time is equal to distance by speed. Therefore, according to the first situation, Ruchi will take 2 by x hours to walk and 12 by y hours by bus to cover the distance. This way, Ruchi will take t1 plus t2 is equal to 1 by 2 hours to reach home. This gives us equation 1. Similarly, situation 2 gives us our second equation. You can see that equations 1 and 2 are not linear equations. If we write equations 1 and 2 in this form, replace 1 by x by m and 1 by y by n in both the equations, 
Then we get equations three and four. By solving equations three and four, we get the value of m as one by ten, and n as one by forty. Now we know that m is equal to one by x and n is equal to one by y. So this gives us the value of x as ten and y as forty. Hence, Ruchi's walking speed is ten kilometer per hour and the speed of bus is forty kilometer per hour. In this video, we saw some examples of how to represent equations in the form of linear equations in two variables. In the next video, we will look at the common mistakes made while solving such questions. You all are welcome to this video. In the previous video, we looked at some examples of equations which can be expressed in the form of linear equations in two variables. Now, we will look at the common mistakes made while solving questions based on this. Solve the given pair of equations. To solve the question, pause the video and match your answer. To obtain a constant on the RHS, let us divide the equations by x, y. This gives us equations 1 and 2. We can write these equations as follows. You can see that equations 1 and 2 are not linear equations. If we replace 1 by x by m and 1 by y by n in equations 1 and 2, then we can express these equations as linear equations, equations 3 and 4. Now, on solving 3 and 4 by any method, we get m is equal to 2 and n is equal to 3. Now again, Keeping m is equal to 1 by x and n is equal to 1 by y, solving gives us x is equal to 1 by 2 and y is equal to 1 by 3. Therefore, option 3 is the correct answer. It was a nice try if you selected option 1. But this answer is wrong because while solving the question, you got the values of m and n. But you didn't solve it further and after taking these values of m and n, you selected the first option, then the answer is incorrect. If you selected option 2, then it's a nice try. But even this answer is wrong. This is because when you divide the equations by x, y, you often make a mistake. And According to that only, you solve the rest of the question which gives x is equal to 1 by 3 and y is equal to 1 by 2 which is again wrong. So, we hope you understood why the third option is correct and the rest of them are wrong. Such examples can be used by the teacher to test students' comprehension in class.